This is Sky News with Gemma Morris. Good morning. There are growing concerns for the global economy with senior politicians in the United States warning it might be too late to sort out America's financial deadlock. Hello and welcome to Swipe coming up. Holiday hyperbole, our online reviews spoiling the spirit of adventure. Let's face it, one of the reasons you bought your home was to make money on it one day. For some of you, it might be your pension. So how can we get a piece of that success and the riches that come with it? Hello and welcome to this week's Six of the Best, our opportunity to showcase some of the best bits from the Sky News for iPad app over the past few days. Hello, this is Five News. I'm Gemma Morris. David Cameron has refused to sign up to changes to the EU treaty. I'd like you to be straight onto, you know, your desk or your table at home. I would There's already a growing system. list of terms used by experts to refer to some of the conditions caused by our modern day devices. So apart from sitting upright in a chair, experts suggest keeping the tablet as near to eye level as possible. You could get a stand to help prop it up. You could also get some other accessories which can reduce the burden on your upper body, like a stylus or even an external keyboard. If there's one place where they know a thing or two about being posh, it's here in the town of Eton. Princess William and Harry went to school here, as well as 19 British Prime Ministers. But what do people here think of the idea that having a cut glass accent might actually not be as desirable as it used to be? The competition doesn't get much tougher. It's at events like this where the team can find themselves up against players from South Korea, for example, where gaming is pretty much a national sport and where the country's star players are earning six-figure salaries. Now, after a nine-day tour of Canada, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are now in America's Golden State. Amanda Walker joins us live from Santa Barbara in California. Amanda, I hear William's been playing polo. This is where everything you can see on your app is processed. Now this week we've carefully selected six of the best items for you to watch. I'm at Selfridges in central London at the pop-up eye maker store where they've got a 3D photo booth. As my body is captured in 360 degrees, I can't help but wonder how many people would really want to see themselves in 3D plastic and pay £159 for the privilege. Can I change my position? A few years ago, a ban on tail docking was brought in. That's thought to be another reason why corgis are losing popularity. Some breeders believe that with the full length tail, corgis just aren't as desirable anymore. While the psychological causes behind the illness can be varied and complex, there is an argument among some health experts that external factors such as inadvertent pressure from the media can also play a role. The laws around how taxidermists get hold of their animals are strict in the UK. They're not allowed to use any that might have died in suspicious circumstances. It's still early days for this place, it's not even a year old yet and with more dry bars popping up across the UK, several of them backed by alcohol charities, could it be that our attitude to drinking really is starting to change? The Oscar Pistorius trial has been hearing from the first person the athlete rang after he shot his girlfriend. Johan Stander, the administrator at the estate where Pistorius lives, arrived at the scene to see the 27-year-old carrying Reva Steenkamp's body down the staircase. Well, let's speak now to Fox News reporter Phil Keating, who's monitoring Tropical Storm Isaac as it nears Key West in Florida. Phil, uh, how are people there preparing for its arrival? Yeah, it is coming about... 80 miles away now. Can you remember your first mobile phone? Mine was an Ericsson GA628. Pretty exciting for its time because it had changeable covers in different colors. Anyway, Martin Cooper certainly remembers his first phone because he used it to make the world's first ever mobile phone call 40 years ago this week. And it was a Motorola Dynatac, by the way. Well, that's it for this week. We'll see you again for more Six of the Best next time. Have a good week. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.